Assalamu alaikum, Ashe. Shalom, peace to all my waking and my unawakened. This is Amen Rossett, the Heyru Hotel. Once again, Asan Benny Blaze, Rael Ashura, my big bro. To the gods to watch over us. This session is going to be on Donald Trump. Yes, President Trump is here in South Carolina at Benedict College speaking today on a uh, prison reform, um, minimal, minimal sentencing, and a few other things. What he's trying to do, once again, first and foremost, because South Carolina is a state that I'm, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not hating, and I'm not making up nothing, that that railroads people of color a lot. And, I, and I'm not just, it's just facts. The stats show it. Um, he's trying to do good. Also, he's pulling a lot of the soldiers out of the war, out of this war that Obama and all these other people didn't he promised to pull people out the wars? He didn't, and so he's pulling people out the wars. He's going after Big Pharma, which is perfect, right up my alley. Because once again, I lost someone close to cancer, and um, he's getting ready to uh, regulate all their uh, all their predatory uh, charges of of all of medicals, medical drugs, and all new drugs that's coming into existence that's approved by the FDA and and um, these people are making billions of dollars off of killing people or just off of this synthetic medicine. So, yeah, he's up against that. Um, he has other few agendas as well. Now, before you go out to protest, which is I see protesters are down there today and uh, word to the wise. Before you protest, protest anything, research, don't go off of fake news. These news companies are owned by the same lobbyists that's trying to get him out of office. Trump came into the office three billion dollars strong. Will show you that money is America, dummies. Uh, wake up, wake the fuck up. Excuse my language, but we need to wake up and stop acting ignorant. And South Carolina's looking dumb down there today to me because this guy's tr actually trying to do things for you people, and you're trying to, you know, bite the hand that's trying to feed you. I'm not saying he's a perfect president, and no one's perfect. But this guy is trying to do something. The economy has did its best it's this last four years than we've done in 50. So if you took the time to research what he's doing and what he's trying to do, you will respect the cause movement and you support this movement because getting him out of the chair right now is not the answer. Protesting is not the answer. Look before you leap. You know, I mean, that that's my point. Once again, Obama, only thing he basically really did was, was I guess, approve gay marriages and turn down reparation acts that came before him two or three times and spent up at least $200 million while he's in the White House. And that's how it went to us as the taxpayers. Trump came into office $3 billion strong, and he donates his money, his presidential salary every year to charity, which is noble. Now, I'm not putting this man on the pedestal, but I, I, I'm looking at him, I'm watching him, and what I'm seeing so far is acceptable. You know, it's humane. So, once again, before you protest, listen to this fake news, this organized crime news and BS. Look before you leap, because this guy is actually trying to make things better. So, we as people, once again, need to research Research, research, and don't be easily man-manipulated by media. Make America great again. I'm in Rossette, Hey, Ru Hotel. All CNI. Peace. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Ashe. Rest in peace once again. Rael Ashore, Benny Blaze. This is all CNI News. And I may do part two after... He speaks, and we're going to get to, to some deeper issues here. But right now, peace.